If you've been considering Zwift as your virtual training companion, but are stuck on whether to commit monthly or go all in with an annual plan, you've clicked on the right video. Let's spin those wheels and break down the options to help you make the best choice for your training and wallet. Hello, I'm Gabriel and welcome to Cycling After 40. First, let's set the stage. Zwift is an online cycling world where you can train, compete and socialize with cyclists from around the globe, all from the comfort of your home. But like any well paved road, there's a toll gate and that's what we're discussing today. Zwift released the annual plan and now you have two options. Going monthly gives you the flexibility of a short term commitment. You can start and stop your subscription based on your training schedule, the seasons or even your mood. It's a pay-as-you-go system priced at $40.99, perfect if you're not ready to tie the knot with Zwift just yet. But maybe you're the type who's all in. If you've got a year of solid training ahead or you're saving for that dream carbon bike, the annual plan might be just be your ticket to savings. With the annual subscription price at $149.99, you essentially get a bulk discount. It's like buying energy gels in bulk. More bang for your buck. If you find this content useful and you want to boost my morale, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Now let's talk about commitment, because let's face it, it's a big word, especially for us free willing types. With a monthly plan, you can dip your toes in the water without diving headfirst into the deep end. It's great for when you want to use the Zwift for a couple of months during the winter season to keep you in your best shape and to prepare yourself for the next season. However, if you have an early mileage goal or you're gunning for that virtual Tour de France, the annual plan will be there to thick and thin, reminding you that you've got the skin in the game. It's like having a loyal training partner who nudges you every morning saying, hey, let's ride. Now, let's discuss the numbers because in the end it's all about the money, 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 right? If you choose the monthly plan and you will be using Zwift for at least 10 months per year, then it is wise to go for the annual plan. In this way, you can use Zwift for two months or free. This is the only scenario where it is wise to go for the annual plan. In all the rest of the situations, for most of us, a monthly plan should be chosen. Most of us are using indoor cycling apps for 4 to 5 months per year. And I'm referring to the period between late October and in the middle of March, when in Europe as an example, in general, the weather is not good for outdoor cycling. So, there you have it month-to-month -month flexibility or annual dedication. Your choice should align with your lifestyle, goals and, of course, how often you plan on visiting the virtual roads of Zwift. And remember, whether you're sprinting towards a personal best or just cruising the countryside, your Zwift adventure is your own. Choose the path that's right for you and enjoy the ride. Catch you on the next lap and, until then, let's spin the wheels.